Praise the Lord. Uh, I'd like to uh, welcome you again. And as we share the word of God together, I pray that the Lord will bless you. And he will bless me uh, through his word in the mighty name of Jesus. We started to talk about this theme. Uh, Behold, I will do a new thing, which is the word that came from the mouth of the Lord. Uh, so let me read again Isaiah chapter 43, 18 and 19. It says here, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the uh, desert. So, I mean, last time you were talking about uh, the spring, what happens in the spring season when all of a sudden winter is uh, over and the season of autumn is over. They have this in the temperate um, regions of the world. And then spring comes forth. And then when spring comes, you find that the, uh, uh, the trees of the the leaves of the tree, right, trees, rather, they, come, they go green again. And the flowers begin to blossom. Uh, and then you see all the yellow, the red, the green. Everywhere begins to look all over. Uh, everywhere begins to look beautiful all over because it is spring season. So take note of that word when the Bible says that, and it shall spring forth just like the uh, season of the uh, spring. What happens? So... When it's winter, you know, the, the, the sunshine does not have, you know, does not come directly upon those places. So it becomes very cold because they are not under the cover of the sun. But when the sunshine comes, the sun rises again in those places, you find that all of a sudden the brightness of the sun and the, uh, the heat that comes from the sun melts all the uh, winter, the snow away. And then life begins to come to the trees and to the flowers all over again. You see, it's spring. And then you see something in the Word of God. Now talking to us, not to flowers and uh, plants now. Malachi chapter 4 and verse 2. It says here, Malachi 4, 2. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And you shall go forth and grow up as cows of the stall. So the Bible says there is a natural son and there is the son of righteousness talking about uh, our, Lord, uh, our Lord God. They say our God is the son of righteousness. Of course, far bigger than anything that he has created. So you cannot even compare the natural son uh, to the son of righteousness. See, one of the names that uh, the Lord calls himself is the son of righteousness. See? And the son of righteousness who are light and arise upon those who fear him. And what will happen? There will be healing. And what will happen? When the healing comes forth, we will be able to go forth. Will be able to progress, and they say it will be like the cows when they are released out of their uh, cages to go forth and to run around and to make progress and to be productive and to have results all over again. Why? Because healing has taken place. So, in this season, God will heal, it will heal our spirits, it will heal our souls, it will heal our bodies. Why? Because he is the son of righteousness and the glory that comes from him, the glory that radiates from him and will come upon you, will come upon me. The glory that radiates from the almighty God will come upon our spirits and there shall be mighty uh, deliverances and we shall be released like the cows to go forth and to do and to fulfill our assignments in the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So your new season is here by the grace of God when the glory of God will uh, bring you into that new experience, new encounters, transformation, and progress, and healings, and, you know, uh, the things that were not working before. They will start to work now. Just like the flowers start to blossom in the time of the spring, that's how it is that as the sun of righteousness has come upon you, your, the flowers of your life will blossom again and they will come forth and the glory shall be seen upon you 
and the glory and praise shall be unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, we just want to say thank you for bringing us into a season of pleasant surprises, a season of divine encounters with you, and a season of blossoming and going forth and making progress in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. And as we say amen to that trust that the Lord will do for you in the name of Jesus. And uh, uh, if you haven't given your life to Christ, I say that again. Enter into your new season. There's something that God will do for you that will make your life to change forever. There's nothing on this earth that you can compare to being born again. There's nothing that you can compare to having this reconciliation to God again, where the, your spirit becomes born again. That is the greatest experience any man can have. And you can have it today if you just tell the Lord, I yield to you. I give my heart to you. Wash my sins away. Come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. Give me that experience of a new birth in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. The Lord will do it for you as you pray that prayer right from your heart in the name of Jesus. God bless you and thank you for joining us. And uh, please stay tuned uh, as we come your way again in the name of Jesus. The services we have are there on the screen. Join us in person. God will bless you as you do. Thank you again. God bless you.